G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. On the mobile workbench today for Teardown we have this Cisco Catalyst 3500XL Network switch 48 nicks in, in it and it's fucked no longer wants to turn on and when it does turn on it emits a nasty burning smell. On the back, got our IEC, big drum blower. This is the remote power supply if you want to run it remotely. And the console access. It is managed. IOS version is 12.0, brackets 5, WC, 8B. Power rating, doesn't use much. But unfortunately, it's stuffed. Now it is megabit, only it's not gigabit. And it was manufactured in March, thir March the 13th, 2002. So we're going to tear this one down and uh, see what's inside, what's causing it to uh, make this horrid burning electrical smell we all know what that smells like when you've got components burning it's uh, not a very nice smell and uh, so I thought we'd uh, see what's involved inside it okay now oh, we're going to take them off too so let's get all these off. We have got some servers coming up in the not too distant future. We've got, uh, I think we've got a couple of Dells to dismantle, which will be fun. Get all these screws out. Very hard to do this one handed. Mm. Shit, that one was in there tight. Alright. Let's got the mount this off. Let's see if we can get into it. Hmm. Screws are out. One side wants to come out, the other side doesn't. Ah, that would be why. Hang on. Lift it up over the IOC. Hang on. And we're in. Needed two hands to do that. All the light pipes for the NIC indicators. And as you can see, it's uh, complicated. So these are our Cisco chips. We have got one, two, three, four, five, six Cisco chips for obviously this. So all this is for this. This is, I believe, for fiber, for fiber cards here and here. This is the first time I've got into one of these. There's our. Uh, main CPU chip it is an IBM power PC so it's power PC it is a what's that say 403 GCX can we just see it there 403 GCX so that's our main CPU for the uh, for the unit so that's that or that is the RAM for it, our blower. Our uh, switch mode power supply. Nice big cap on there. The cap hasn't bulged, which is good. So let's try and work out whether or not we can see anything that's damaged. Caps still look fairly flat. Problem is, it could be anything. 
bulging or burning because this thing moves a lot of air. Oh well, let's get let's get the power supply out. We'll try and see if we can uh, see where the burning's coming from. Could be just something emitting smoke as well, and that could be causing the problem. But uh, who knows? These are actually a really good switch for a large network if you don't mind running it at at, at megabit. Um, these days, um, most things are going to gigabit, you know, one gig, ten gig uh, network. Um, obviously, for um, data trans, you know, storage systems and that, fibers. Well, to me, fibers still the fastest available. Um, places are moving to. Ethernet or you know cat was it cat 5c and 6f or whatever it is now I have trouble keeping up okay so there's the power supply let's try and work it out this comes out it should just pop off in theory how do you reckon this comes out Ah, oh, I see. I need a, I need a flathead screwdriver. Bear with me. Okay, got it out. Power. So let's see if we can try and work out what's causing it to emit that burning electrical component smell. Well, the caps don't look bulged. Oh, that one's... Oh, that's just glue on that. That's just a bit of glue there. I could be coming out of the transformer, which is a, a very distinct possibility, but without pulling the whole thing apart. There's no burning on the back of it, though, is there? Really could be anything. I guess. There is no, there's no, nothing on this board that looks burnt. Hmm, who knows? Bloody stinks though when you turn it on. All right, so, let's get this beastie out. Fairly rigid piece of Flat flex, very rigid piece of flat flex. I'd say that's the uh, fibre expansion. Your high speed fibre plugs would go in there. All right, now I need to get some pliers. Hang on, got some more power regulation there. Good. I oh, know I'm using pliers instead of a spanner. We all know I don't play by the rules. Very dusty blower. Made by Nidec. It's a Gamma 30 blower, 12 volts, at just shy of half an amp. Made in Japan. Could blow with that. I'm going to hang on to that. Okay. Well, now we'll get the uh, get the main board out. Probably using too big a uh, thing. I think we might use the uh, power drive to get these out because there's a lot of screws in there. So let's get the power drive set up for. Flathead. Right, power drive set up for flathead. Got to be easy. Oh, that didn't work so well. Uh, 
Jesus, what's going on here? These are like in super tight. I suppose they sort of have to be, don't they? Oh, shit. Oop, that one didn't work. Get all these bloody screws out. There's enough in here, isn't there? Have a look at them all. I don't think they wanted this thing to be able to be moved about much. What I what I do want to say too, by the way, everyone. That's an interesting thing. Oh, yes. This is the fuse for the remote power system in. See there, it's got some sort of... I wonder if you can link these these together in a, in a bigger unit. I wonder if that's what that's for. I have to say, before we go any further into diagnosing what killed this, I've got a great lot of respect for Cisco Systems. Um, their managed switches and... and Ethernet systems and all that are, uh, you know, very reliable. I, I, to me, they're ver very reliable. I am yet to come across a Cisco switch that, whoop, that, uh, doesn't work as it should. Um, in all my years in dealing with uh, with servers and that, um, often people will say, you know, we've got network issues and all this with th switches stuffed. Um, and often it's not, but this, the Cisco products I have used in modems and and uh, switches etc basically the networking stuff has never ever given me any grief and I've dealt with you know their fiber to RJ45 units that convert um, that convert uh, um, high-speed fiber down to RJ45 for that type of stuff, I've um, I've always loved using and managing a Cisco system, a switch anyway. Now we need to work out why we can't get this just to slide out. Something's holding it in. Oh, it's the light pipes. All right, let's get the light pipes out, and then we'll get the board out. All right, got the lights of light pipes out little clips into the board and then a whole pile of these little SMD LEDs now see if we can get it out now not really all right let's try and get the front bezel off and uh, should come out then but as I was saying I've always enjoyed working with Cisco's Systems. I'm sure there's people out there that will say that you know they've had nothing but trouble with Cisco. My comment to that would be each to their own, really. You know, just because I have good luck with it doesn't always necessarily translate that everyone's going to have good luck. But the stuff that I've used from them has never once given me any grief. Except this might be the first time I can't get all this out. Let's break it off. Fuck it. Okay, so there's the front. And here's the switches. Or well, the, the actual RJ45 plugs. So, it should just push back now, I would have thought. Will. All right, let's see if we can pull it back and get it out. 
This is another screw stopping me, there shouldn't be. It's the uh, light pipe control for the front panel. Alright, let me see what's stopping this getting this, this uh, main board out. Well, that'd be right. I forgot about one miserly bloody screw. Right there. So there's the main board of it. See if we can work out whether anything's let go here. Doesn't much look like it. The caps aren't bulging. In my years of dealing with electronics, caps don't have to bulge to let go. Really. They're still not bulging very much. Well, not sure what was causing it. Very uh, weighty board. Anyway, there's the main Cisco Cisco chip. So that's the. Uh, network bridge control and I presume they're the RAM chips for the onboard processor we only have 25 megahertz processor and there's the, uh, the console and that's about it one network switch all right, coming up, we've got some small form factor stuff. And as I said, we'll get some more servers done as well. Not much really to these, is there? Anyway, all right, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.